Bahrain engine failure, farmers and Melbourne cricketers stop six stop. Chris Silverwood England's head coach was an emergency call-up as a player on the Ashes tour of 2002-2003 after injuries forced out Simon Jones and Darren Gaw. Bizarrely, Silverwood owed his selection to bowling like the wind in the Hong Kong Sixes where the England 11 happened to be managed by the chairman of selectors, David Gravenay. Silverwood had just got home from Hong Kong and he was asked to turn around and head for Perth. Chosen for the test at the Waka without bowling a ball in the middle, he broke down after four overs with a fractured ankle and took no further part in the game or the tour. Ted Dexter the young Dexter was celebrated as much for his playboy lifestyle as his promise as a batsman when he was summoned to Australia in 1958-59 to as an injury replacement. He was in Paris with his girlfriend, Susan Longfield, at the time and pea soup fog meant it took him two days to get back to London. While further fog delayed his departure for Sydney, he secured Susan's engagement to deter predators. He traveled first class, but engine trouble in Bahrain set him back further. Dexter knew few of his England teammates, scored 18 runs in four innings, and hid himself behind a carapace of languid, entirely bogus self-confident. Alastair Cook when Marcus Trescothick suddenly returned home from India in 2006 with what transpired to be mental health issues, Cook was called from an England Lions tour in the West Indies. The journey to Nagpur, which Cook shared with James Anderson, who was needed to bolster the pace bowling strength of the squad, involved stopovers in London and Mumbai and spanned three days. Cook, uncapped and only 21 years of age, opened the batting and occupied the crease for nine and a half hours, scoring 60 and 104 not out. A stellar career was born. Colin Milburn Milburn's enormous size meant he was mistrusted by England selectors, but with Colin Cowdery struggling for fitness during a tour to Pakistan in 1968-69 and Milburn enjoying a spectacular season with Western Australia, he became the best option as a reinforcement. It took Milburn two days to fly from Perth to Dhaka, from where he picked up an onward plane to Karachi two days before the third test started. After a couple of net practices he strolled into the middle where, on a pitch that could hardly have been more different from Australian conditions, he struck a belligerent 139, before the match and tour were abandoned amid riot. Brian Statham Statham, who would become one of England's greatest fast bowlers, was only 20 when, in 1950-51, he took a call along with his Lancashire teammate, Roy Tattersall, to get themselves to Australia to bolster Freddie Brown's depleted party. Neither had flown before. They took a train from Manchester to London, then flights, some hampered by electrical problems, to Rome, Cairo, Karachi, Singapore, Darwin, Sydney and Melbourne where they met the team and were poleaxed by the heat. Tattersall played twice in Australia, but Statham had to wait until New Zealand to play the first of his 70 tests.